Hi guys, today I will show you how to draw the sea title on the oil paint. Hope this video will be interesting for you. Tap like for this video and let's begin. Before we start it, I want to show you how I make idea for the picture. I usually choose picture on the Pinterest platform and then I cut them out of the subtitle then in the Photoshop program. In this picture we will have two sea turtles as the main objects and we will already have two divers and corals as secondary objects. Since we will have a horizontal picture we substitute all the objects in their places. Before starting I recommended a plain white spirit to the cane vase for the better paint application. Mom and dad of all colors is of course white and black. We also need blue, turquoise, green and purple colors to draw the bottom of the ocean. Preparatory moments are over, we can proceed. We begin to form the glow of the sun's rays underwater. Use white paint to further draw to sun glare. Further in layers we apply colors from the light point to the dark one. Painted the background with a soft brush or napkin with the light movements we begin to form the sun rays. You should spray rays only from white point. Also with this napkin you can outline the light areas of the bottom. When the bottom of the ocean has taken its shape, we can begin to draw marine planes and corals. Just as is the main of the secondary objects, we have a foreground and a background. Now we are driving the far part of the ocean, so don't try too hard on every coral. Since you still have to take a soft brush and wipe it with the smooth movements. We create the effect of depth and show that they are far away. Now let's start drawing to corals closest to us already. Of white and blue colors we outline the bright sides of the corals. This object in more detail signs they are closer to us. With the soft brush connect light areas with depth. With this movement we create the effect of relief and the depth of the ocean. White paint add highlights on the top of the corals. What I recommended not to overdo is so as not to spoil the general appearance of the picture. I also advise you to periodically step back and look on the big picture. Don't stop on the one place and carefully draw it. You can always go back to this place and finish it. Gradually approaching closer and closer to the foreground. Now we can start drawing the forward corals. You can already pay more attention for their drawings. Here we can already dilate our picture with other colors. As you may have noticed, I do not try to convey everything exactly the same. I wanted to add seaweed in the back. I add gradually begin to transform our picture with new bright colors. Sea wheat and sea flowers I went on the go improvising. I just wanted to add purple in this place. Don't be afraid to go beyond the fitting. If you want or you feel that you need to put this particular color here, do it. We are artists. We draw not only by the example picture, but also by feeling. For example, this red coral in the corner is different from the picture I am drawing from. But I want to make it a little different. 
especially if you draw a picture for yourself. There's nothing to worry about. Another thing is if you draw the portrait or the person, then accuracy is needed there. Also do not forget to put highlights, but do not overdo it with this. Also do not forget to draw the dark areas of the corals. Always start by drawing the general silhouette and only then proceed to work out the details. This is how we draw the coral reef. Again, I remind you, do not forget to step back and look at the big picture. This will save us from irreparable mistakes. You will also see maybe you missed something and want to add. So I came back and decided to add the shadows on the save bit. I also wanted to add some more vibrant color to the main coral. Now we can proceed to our main objects. Outline silhouettes with the light movements. At this stage we show the main features. Every detail we will draw later. Also outline the main points of the second turtle. Also do not forget to show the light and the shadow of the object. Tortoise shell display light. And belly is in the shade. Put shadow on the fins. Now let's start to the detailed drawing of the fin. Draw stripes with a thin brush of the white paint. Also do not forget to step back and look at the general plane. I stepped back and saw that my turtles were too small. This is nothing critical in this since we can finish drawing the small object and it will become the larger. Much worse if your heat is high and your need is reduced. So I take the green paint, increase the belly, tail and fin. I also immediately show shadow areas on them. gradually begin to transform the turtle with the new colors. The shell and the head of our main reflection of light so we point up to shell with a white paint. Start drawing the head. Due to black paint we add contrast. With the smooth blend of colors use a soft brush or cloth. Try to draw everywhere. Don't get stuck in one place. Also watch your fingers. Try not to touch the painting with your hands. You can smear the drawing and get your hands dirty.
The turtle's head is covered with the white stripes like fins, with a thin brush and white strips. For the brighter combination, add yellow highlights. It remains to draw the tail from the first turtle. You can improve the picture indefinitely. You decide when to stop. As you may have noticed, I do not draw specifically in one place, but gradually move from the one place to another. Now we proceed to draw in the second turtle. Just like in the first turtle, we outline light and the dark areas. Gradually from the light spools, the silhouette of the turtle is drawn. With the soft brush make the smooth transition between colors. The first title doesn't let me go, he always wants to add something with me. I don't know why, but here I decided to make the shield smooth with a salt brush. Painting has no limits. You decide what is enough for you.
also do not forget about the white highlight that emphasizes the object. We also start working on the fins. The technique is the same as with the first turtle. With a thin brush, with a white paint, we draw stripes. Let's draw the eyes. Almost the second turtle is also ready. Move to secondary objects to divers. With a slight movement of the brush, we outline the main silhouettes. I recommend being extremely careful in these areas because we draw black lines on the white background and it will be very difficult to fix them. It is difficult for you to keep your hand on weight. You can touch the picture on the little finger like me. Gradually draw the belly, head, and then scuba gear. Drop the second one in the same way. Now add some other marine life. Keep in mind this is not the main object in the picture, so we will not draw them carefully. It will be enough to show the light part and the dark. We draw the light and the dark strip and we have the silhouette of the fish.
I think this is where we will finish drawing this picture. Do not forget to indicate the outer. Here is such the sea picture we got. I hope this video was useful for you and taught you a lot. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, everything comes with experience. Dear friends, like this video and subscribe to the channel, we will continue to draw with you together. I wish you all create success and see you soon on the channel.